a pleasant morning to my friends, teachers and all the wonderful people watching this right now. Today is World Environment Day and all the students of 7D including our class teacher have something in store for you. To start with, we have Yashas and Nishit to speak a few words on the history of a World Environment Day. Welcome to Honorable Class Teacher Deepa Ma'am and my fellow mates. Today's special speech is about World Environment Day. World Environment Day took its shape during the United Nations Conference on the Human Environment in Stockholm, Sweden from June 5th to 16th in 1972. The purpose of the conference was to focus on human intervention and its impact on the environment. The day was first observed in 1974 in the city of Spokane in USA. The first wet in 1974 was held with the theme Only One Earth. Since 1974, World Environment Day had been started celebrating as an annual event on every 5 June to raise the importance of healthy and green environment in the human lives. To solve the issue of the environment by implementing some positive environmental action by the government. Thank you and I would like my friend Yashas to continue the speech. Thank you Nishit for your brief on the subject. Would like to continue further on the same. Good morning everybody, my respected teachers and all my dear friends. As you all know, we have gathered here to discuss a very significant global observation. This day is observed under the gui guidance of the United Nations and is becoming popular with each passing year. Alright friends, today we are going to talk about the World Environment Day, first celebrated in 1974. The day is observed annually throughout the globe on 5th of June. There is a tradition of celebrating the day with the United Nations sponsored theme. Also, every year, a particularly host country is also chosen by the United Nations. With this, I would like to end my speech on World Environment Day, hoping that you all were able to understand my views and will adopt a zero-tolerance attitude towards the environmental damage. Next, we have Ayush to speak on his love for the beauty of nature. My name is Ayush Burman and today I am going to tell some of my feelings about nature. Since my childhood, I have been very close to nature and the environment. I have always been taught to value and respect the environment by my parents and school teachers. I am very fortunate to be living in a beautiful campus which is filled with lush green trees, beautiful plants and greenery. In my campus, there are long stretches of greenery and tall trees as far as the eye can see. There are some trees which are more than a hundred years old. On every special occasion, my parents and I plant saplings and give plants to our neighbors and friends. Mother Nature has always been kind to us. And now it is time to return all the favor by showing a responsible attitude towards the environment. Let's nurture the nature so that we can have a better future. A very happy environment day. Let's make a greener and better future. Thank you. Now, let's go through some artworks by the creative little champs in our classroom. Hello guys, it's easy to grow plants in our house. It doesn't need much place to grow. It gives you fresh vegetables for your needs. Hi, as you all know, this is aloe vera plant. It does not need much water and attention. It's very useful for home medicines. It's scientifically proven that having a plant in your house will improve positivity. It purifies air, it, it 
relieves stress the environment is where we all met where we all have a mutual interest it is the one thing all of us share let's all pledge to plant a sapling today and take care of it A very warm welcome to one and all present here. I'm Alan Rose and here to speak a few words on World Environment Day. World Environment Day is celebrated annually on June 5th and is the United Nations principal vehicle for raising awareness and action for the protection of the environment. First held in 1974, it has been a platform for raising awareness on environmental issues such as marine pollution, human overpopulation, sustainable consumption and wildlife crime. World Environment Day is a global platform for public outreach with participation from over 143 countries annually. Each year the program as provided a theme and forum for businesses, non-government organizations, communities, governments and celebrities to advocate for the cause. The coronavirus outbreak and people being confined indoors, the environment and Mother Earth seem to have benefited slightly. In the absence of human activities amid the coronavirus-induced lockdown, nature is getting time to clean itself and reclaim its space. The theme for World Environment Day 2021 is Ecosystem Restoration and Pakistan will be the global host for the big day. This day will also see the launch of the UN Decade on Ecosystem Restoration. For too long, we have been exploiting and destroying our planet's ecosystems. Every three seconds, our world loses enough forest to cover a football pitch. And over the last century, we have destroyed half of our wetlands. As much as of 50% of coral reefs have already been lost and up to 90% of coral reefs could be lost by 2050, even if global warming is limited to an increase of 1.5 degrees Celsius. Ecosystem restoration means preventing, halting and reversing this damage to go from exploiting nature to healing it. This World Environment Day is a global mission to revive billions of hectares from forests to farmers to from the top of the mountains to the depth of the sea. Only with healthy ecosystems can we enhance people's livelihoods, contract climate change and stop the collapse of biodiversity. Thank you and have a wonderful day ahead. Now we have Ayan to show us some ways of recycling. Hi, uh, I made a personal fan uh, using old cardboard box, wires, motors from old broken toys and this is how it works. Here on and off switches there and ins inside there is a Two AA battery, one switch, uh, wire and one motor with fan, attached fan. And you can use it uh, for doing going picnics. You can use it easily like this. It's portable. Next, Thank we you. have Sai Krishnan to give us a brief about pollution. Pollution, it's a common thing in our daily life. Mother Earth is so polluted that we had to segregate the term pollution into three sections. Air pollution, land pollution and water pollution. A recent study says that Earth has more than 3.4 trillion trees. But every year 15.3 billion trees are cut down. If it continues like this, Earth will soon be inhabitable. There will be no fruits or vegetables to eat. Even though most of us eat meat, more than 80% of our nutrition comes from fruits, vegetables and dry fruits. So basically the food we get from plants and trees. So here are some precautions. Stop burning trash. 
यूज अ डस्टबिन टू थ्रो वेस्ट स्टॉप पोल्यूटिंग वाटर एंड फाइनली प्लांट ट्रीज इफ मिस्टर बीस्ट कैन प्लांट ट्वेंटी मिलियन ट्रीज जस्ट फॉर अ यूट्यूब वीडियो वाई कैंट वी प्लांट वन फॉर एनवायरमेंट डे हैप्पी एनवायरमेंट डे Now we have Ms. Deepa Ma'am to speak a few words on World Environment Day. Good morning everyone. On this occasion of World Environment Day, it is essential for all to realize that every little deed matters when it comes to saving the environment. No matter how small a step you are taking to lead a greener lifestyle, it does make a difference because if everyone starts doing little deeds one by one it will turn into something big as the saying goes every drop makes an ocean it is true in this case as well always remember that the gifts and the blessing which in, with the nature endows on us are priceless it is rather essential to conserve them all for a better future and a life for all always remember that small steps will help you reach your goals and i am very happy that 7d is organizing such a wonderful program on behalf of this environment day your little deeds makes definitely make some difference in the entire society and i wish you all the very best and god bless you all children thank you